This is Darren Paltrowitz from the Paltrowcast with Darren Paltrowitz. I know that's a great name. Uh Andrew, Dion, pleasure to be speaking with you both. And I have a question for both of you in a second. But first, we'll throw it to Andrew. Do you have a personal highlight for making this wonderful, wonderful film? Uh, Yeah. Um, My favorite part was, you know, the challenge of trying to get together, um, you know, with Dion and, and get a cast that was willing to essentially at that time risk risk their lives to come together and film this project uh during a time of uncertainty where we didn't know what this virus was uh you know we we all buckled down and we filmed it and we got it together uh so it was a team effort and i think that was the highlight of the journey for me now dion very different question for you here a lot of pressure of you are on you rather to write and direct but beyond all that greatness right there, this has to be the most impressive collective of producers I've ever seen on a film. When in the process did all that power come on board besides the great script? Man, this, I wish I had a long, I wish I had a, a while to talk to you, man. This, this whole thing, D, is just, I'm sitting here now, and like I said, man, I know Pete, you guys do a lot of interviews. I'm just basking in a moment right now because this is not what normally happens. Mm-hmm. Uh, I call people on the phone. My script was not done. And people were in cars driving to me from New York, Atlanta, Chicago. I mean, like, yo, I'm coming, D. I got to get out this house. I'm losing my mind. I don't know, like, what's going to happen, but I'm coming. And um, we all got in this, what's now called a bubble. And we shot something in a time where people weren't shooting anything at all. And now I look at, I'm going like, wow, man, it's like 20 people that were the bravest people I know uh, to create a piece of art. And we're so excited about it, man. But now I think about it and I'm thinking to myself like, yo, the message is greater than the film, which was fear and us understanding that we were not gonna allow fear to actually manifest and stop us or kill us, or we were not gonna be afraid to take a chance. And that's a, such a powerful thing right now, man, in, the, in in this climate where we're all trying to figure out how to overcome something that we're afraid of. You know what I mean? And, and so I'm happy with this horror movie because it lands really great as a horror, but the message is loud and noisy. The message is loud and noisy. Andrew, did when you wound up in the project, did you know it was called Fear or is Fear of a work, Working Title of Sorts? Uh, yeah, the, 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 the title kind of came about. Um, do, Dion, do you remember what it was originally called? It was Don't Fear. Yeah, Don't Fear. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. yeah. Um, but the film is great because it, it talks about the, the overall message is how our past traumas define who we are today. And it's our job to kind of overcome those past traumas and overcome those fears and build to be better people from now to to, to the future. Wow. Last question I have before I let you go, and this is extremely random. Is Joseph Sikora a diehard fan of David Lee Roth like I think he is, or does he keep that private? <laughs> Joseph Sikora is a diehard fan. <laughs> He absolutely is, and and I know that for a fact. And he probably does keep it private, but we ask, we should ask him that together. He's listen, man. Let me let me just take a minute for Joe. Joe is so amazing, man, and and one of the nicest people I've ever met in my life, and uh, more dedicated than I believe people understand. Um, it's very hard to be Joseph Sakura, based on the yep. fact that. You know, the the hats and the different things that he's done as an actor during his career. Like, this guy's on Ozarks. You're like, oh, my God, that's the dude on Ozarks. He's in fear. And then he's fucking Tommy from Power. Like, yo, that's crazy. You know what I mean? But but he's awesome, man. And and he's eclectic like Andrew Batchelor right here. Uh, Joe is a producer on the movie. Batch is a producer. Look, man, these this movie represents so much to me based on the fact that everybody that's involved is really involved. Mm-hmm. No one just no one just came like, yeah, I'm gonna just show up and do my acting thing and uh, I'll get out of here. Like, 
we was moving chairs and, and picking up shit, man, and <laughs> crying at night and trying to figure out how we could finish tomorrow. And it, it just was insane, man. So I'm just happy, man, that we're doing this right now. I'm more happy that you're going to get to see the movie, D. Like I, want, like, I want you to see it. I want you to feel it. And more importantly, I've been telling everybody, I said, man, when you watch the movie, I mm-hmm. want you to understand what I'm going to tell you right now. People were really afraid when they were shooting the scenes. Period. They were really afraid, man. So when we said cut, people were wondering if we were they were infected or not. You know what I mean? So stop it, Labradoodles. Stop it, my wolves. Wolves. These are wolves, not Labradoodle. Labradoodle wolf, stop. <laughs> Thank you both for your time, seriously, and congratulations on making the film a reality. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thanks. Outro cast.